Hi everybody, for those of you that were away the other day, we started making a video game in PowerPoint. It's actually quite easy, but there are a few steps that you have to follow to make the game work properly. So we're going to go over this with you, and you can have a look at it, and you can always go and look back at it. And for those of you that were away, you've got this resource, and for those of you that were there, in case you forget one or two steps, you can go back and have a look. The first thing I want to do, I'm on my home ribbon, I want to insert two new slides and so now I've got three slides I'm gonna leave my first one the way it is I'm gonna go to my second one I'm going to put on you win this is gonna be my slide where they actually go to if they, it tells them if they win or not this is gonna be my you lose slide so the important thing is here I've got three slides I'm gonna go back to my first slide Here's the important step that many people will forget when they do this. What we actually want to do is turn off uh, part of the clicking features in PowerPoint. So I'm going to go to the slideshow menu. I'm going down over to set up slideshow. And here's the important one. Browse at a kiosk. It's going to be full screen. What browse at kiosk does, it prevents me from going from slide to slide by just clicking anywhere. It's going to force me to either have my cursor or my arrow move over or mouse over an object such as a button or actually click on a button. So I'm going to say browse at kiosk for this one and click OK. We're ready to start making our game. I'm still on slide one. Now I could get rid of these because I don't need them. They're not going to show anyways if you play them if because it doesn't have anything in it. We're using PowerPoint in a way different way than what it was kind of designed to do but there's so many things you can do in PowerPoint uh, a lot of people have realized, hey, we can we can start to make these little games. I'm going to the Insert menu, going to the Shapes option. At the very bottom here, I've got these things called Action Buttons. I'm going to get the very last one. I'm going to click, and I'm just going to drag. As soon as I finish dragging, I should get this this menu popping up. Now what we can do, we have these action settings, so if I do something to this button, I can have it hyperlink somewhere else. I don't want to necessarily click on it, I want to use the mouse over, so I'm going to switch to the mouse over tab, and I want to hyperlink. So if, I, if my mouse touches this box, I'm going to lose, because I'm going to use these boxes to construct my maze. So I want to hyperlink to, and I'm going to scroll down just a bit until I get to slide. Click on slide. I want to hyperlink to the you lose slide. I'm going to click OK. Later on you can check it out. You can actually play a sound if you click on it or if you move your mouse over it. So if you lose you could have a sound play automatically. But I'm going to click on OK because that's all I want. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is once this button is set up, I'm actually going to copy it. I could go to, I could right click and copy, and then I can go paste, paste. I want about 10 of these. Faster way to paste is hold down the control key and hit the V button. Okay, and I'm just going to set up my maze here. I'm just moving things right now. It's just going to be a real simple maze. But you will be amazed when this is done that you can actually do this. Okay, simple little maze got the maze set up. And the reason I copied it, because I've set up my mouse over already, it means I don't have to go back to each new box and click and change the mouse over and hyperlink to a certain slide because it's copied the, all of the same properties. I'm going to go to my shapes menu. I'm going to go down to action button again. I'm going to click on the house. This is my home button. I'm going to put it right down here in this corner. This is where I want to move my cursor to. So again, I want to switch it to mouse over. So when my mouse moves over this button, I want it to do something. I want to hyperlink it to, go to the slide, and I want to go to the you win slide. This is where I can actually win. So when I move my mouse down there, it's going to win. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to test it out and see if this works. So, so far, 
and I've gone really fast so you can always risk, pause it, rewind it, watch it again. We've set up our slideshow to be a kiosk. We have added some buttons. We've added a you win slide and a you lose slide. Uh, we're ready to play. I'm going to go to the slideshow menu from beginning and what I'm going to do is move my mouse. So you'll see if I move over this I lose. Then I have to hit the escape key and play it again from the beginning. So I'm going to see if I can win this time. And I'm doing well. We're going to, I'm going to show you in a little bit how to make it more complicated too. Doing well so far. Isn't it awesome just watching me play this game? Okay, and I'm going to move over this thing. And as I move over this thing, it should take me to the it should take me to the U win slide, and it does. The only bad thing is that we don't have an option to play again, or an option to say, "Hey, I don't want to play." And if I click, because we turned off that clicking and it's browsing at a kiosk, I can't do anything. So the only thing I can do is hit Escape to start over. But we want to put on some extra buttons to have a play again option and a you know what I'm I'm done playing option. So I'm going to be on my Wii U win slide first. I'm also going to insert action buttons. So I'm going to put an action button. I'm putting them right up here and you'll see why later. Actually I'll tell you why. We have to put it here so that uh, our cursor starts back up in the right spot. Uh, this is going to be my play the game again slide. I want actually this to be on a mouse click not a mouse over. So I actually want them to click on it rather than by accident just move their mouse over the wrong one. I want this to go to slide and I want it to go to slide one which is my kind of my opening slide. Uh, good. Now I'm going to right click on this button and I'm going to edit the text. This is my play again slide or play again button. I'm going to insert another action button that does the exact same thing but takes me and ends my game. So I'm going to draw this button on here. The action that I want it to do, again, it's going to be on mouse click. I want to hyperlink this to, and I want it to end the show. Let's click OK. I'm going to right click on it, edit my text, uh, end the game. End game. Now, what I can do is I can get both of these things and I'm going to copy and paste them. To get both of them, both of them, click on it once, hold down the control key, click on the next one, and now you can right click, copy. I'm going to go to my you lose slide. I'm going to paste them to go right where I want them to. Let's play our game. Let's see if these things work. I'm going to play, go to slideshow menu from beginning. I am, let's see, I make it this far and I go, oh, I lose. I want to end the game. Game's over. Let's play it again. We know that one works. Let's say I want to do, I made a mistake. Oh, I'm going to play again. And it takes me back up there. And it should do the same. I just got to make sure I actually win here. Be patient with me and I'll try to make sure I do this as fast as I can. These buttons, too, that you have on there, once you have them on, you can right click on them and format them. And you can change the code. Let's see if this one works. Good, it wins. Let's end the game. So I could change the color. I'm going to go up here, right click, format it, and I can change the color. I can change the solid color. I can put a picture in, uh, all that kind of stuff. And also you can do the same kind of PowerPoint things you always do and put in uh, put in pictures and whatever kind of graphics that you want. Okay, so there's that. All right, and uh, we've done, made our little game. It's got a little maze game. We also looked at how to make this a little trickier. So I'm going to insert another action button. Uh, let's get that same one. I'm going to do it this way this time. What I want this to do is I want this to actually spin. So I want this thing to go around and make it more difficult for me to try to get through. I still want it, if I touch it on mouse over, I want to hyperlink it to my you lose slide. So just like we did before. And you lose. I'm going to click on that. Okay. But now we've got to put an animation on it. 
that's just a couple of extra steps. I'm going to click on it, make sure I have this one highlighted or selected. So I can just click on it. I see my little anchors around it and I can do what I want. So I'm going to go to the animation menu or ribbon. Uh, right now there's no animate. I want to go to a custom animation. I'm going to click on custom animation and then I get this menu here on the side opening up. And I want to add an effect. I want to add an emphasis effect because it's already there so I don't need an entrance effect. I don't want it to leave so I don't want an exit effect. So I want an emphasis. I'm going to have this one spin. So that's kind of what it's going to do. We see it over here. Uh, however, I need to make a few changes. Rather than start on click, because we're not really clicking anything, I want it to start with previous effects. I can change the speed here. Uh, I can also say, hey, here's how I want it to go. Half spins, full spins, clockwise, counterclockwise. Uh, let me click back on that. Last thing I want to do, I want to keep it going. I don't want it to stop. So I'm going to click on this little arrow. Timing. I want to repeat until end of slide. So I want to repeat it until the end of slide happens. Uh, let's click it. So it's just going to keep going now. Let's go look at our game. Slideshow from beginning. And there it is, it's moving. So now you got to try to go around it. Maybe this one's not too hard. Oh, I'm good. Round of applause would be awesome as you're watching this. It'll just people will just look at you too, wondering why they're clapping. Uh, and hopefully that's gonna work. All right, I went through stuff really quick on this one. Uh, pause this video, rewind it, have a look at what you need to do. Also, your other classmates that were here the other day when we did this can help you out. Uh, we're gonna keep working at making a maze and trying to do different things. You can also do these kind of effects with just about anything that you want. So I can go to insert. I think I can do it with clip art. I'm actually not sure. Let's check this out together. Clip art. Let me get a race car. Race car. Oh, let me go on my first one here. Let me get this race car in. I think I can do it, but let me let me check. Yeah, I can add actions to it. And I can hyperlink it. Um so we could do all, all kinds of things with it too. And we can, you can have the race car moving. You can apply that animation to it. Uh, let me do hyperlink, uh, slide. Uh, it's going to be the you lose slide. Uh, oh, it should be mouse over. I did it on the mouse click. Notice that I messed up there. Uh, hyperlink to uh, slide, you lose. I'm going to click OK. I want to put an animation on this. Uh, let me see what I can do. I want this car to go... Let's do a custom animation. Uh, I may have to switch this up here too. Or close it. Where do my animations go? I want to do an animation. Custom animation. There it is. Uh, emphasis effect. And I got way more effects down here too rather than just spin and grow and shrink. Uh, all kinds of things that you can you can try out probably running out of time with this video and you probably just want to get making your game. Um, let's do a motion path. I want this guy go up and down. Uh, up. Uh, I wonder if there's an up and down effect. Anyways, you get you get the hang of it. Uh, I'm going to let you guys kind of play with this, enjoy, just kind of mess around, try things out.